So here we are, uh, we've got the Trek Domani 5-9-2013, all getting it, gonna get it ready for um, <clears throat> a set of magnet lights that just came in, with magnet light IC, and I'm also gonna just throw on the fenders at the same time, I think these are SKS, um, they're road fenders that I've had on last winter. Winter, so I'm gonna throw those on again um, because I haven't really done much racing this season, so I might as well just convert it over now. Um, racing chip, bike, park tool stand, and uh, let's see what it looks like once we get it all set up. Okay, so I <clears throat> I've gone with the um, additional red. Um, rear light so I will have two um, red brake lights swing arm so with the um, brake pad adapter here for each of those and then I also have two front uh, white lights which you see here um, and I've got the uh, a black, I went with the, um, didn't go for the aluminum, so I went for the plastic uh, front uh, adapter instead, fork adapter instead. So they will clip into these that attach to, um, that slide into there. And um, we'll see how it all works out. Okay, so we got the fender on, the rear fender. And uh, so now what we're going to do is install the um, rear brake lights. So we'll follow these um, road bike instructions here. I know, this thing doesn't seem to be just on my phone, so there we go. We follow the road bike instructions here. And we have a um, brake arm attachment, very light, and the nuts and bolts that go with it. And that's just gonna fit on to the brake arm, um, like so. And the piece will attach there so that it catches the rim as the bike spins. Okay, I have one side installed, um, and if you can tell in this bright light, the battery, the light is still slightly on because I just was um, testing it. Um, so it works exactly as expected, so this is what it will be doing after I, um, after I stop at a stop sign. It'll just be blinking for a little bit. Uh, there's one one thing that you have to pay attention to that is on on uh, when you get it installed you're gonna need to adjust the angle that it's on this sort of semicircle here uh, so that it points directly backwards and also um, you need to make sure that you have clearance so that when you press your brakes all the way in um, you're not touching. And so I'm not touching what, you, what you're seeing is the um, the fender cover there but I've got some good space in between there and that. The issue is is that once you get this uh, on um, the only way to start to adjust it if it's too close is that you have to go under and adjust a um, bolt underneath here. The problem is that they don't give you one of these um, that would allow you to, one of these of the right size, that would allow you to adjust that bolt without removing the whole arm itself. So luckily I have like a, a you know, a layman's um, toolkit with like a hammer and some uh, some hex um, screw 
bits and pieces in it. So I was actually able to um, go in there, loosen that bolt, pull this piece back a bit, uh, so that now when I press in the brakes, um, so now when I press in the brakes, it's not touching. So we're right in the sunlight now. So right in the sunlight. So I don't think you'll see much um, from when I do this, but it is sort of doing its thing right now, bright and cheerfully. And everybody seems to be happy, so I will uh, make some further adjustments. And um, we'll see how it goes. Put on the other side. slightly different. We have this um, seat that's going to actually sit right in front of the um, calipers here. And again we have the pieces here that slide on and then are screwed in. So if you want to see that, these just um, slide on but there's a screw that you're going to put in there to screw these in. Okay, now I have put in the uh, arm, screwed that in, I've got one on the opposite side showing, clicked in. So you see it doesn't, um, this one isn't attached to the, any of the brakes, so the brakes operate um, without it moving. Um, so now I just get to make the correct adjustments on the pieces that need to be adjusted and uh, we'll be in business. So here we have the completed installation. We have our front um, magnetic lights are on. I could not get the uh, fenders to fit. Um, it was just with the fender bracket in there, the fender arm bracket in there, uh, with this in there was just way too much. Um, the, the bolt just couldn't reach it. Um, I did order the two extension longer bolts from Magnet Light from the store, but the actual bolt that's in here is longer than both of those, so I actually need to get a longer one still. Um, but here at the final install, you can see that it, the front brake um, sits, is fine without it. If I pull, the front brakes move and the front magnet lights don't. The magnet light I see is these are, the latest and greatest. Um, so that's fine. And then at the back, um, you see that the I did could fit the fender because the back one doesn't go into the bracket it's just straight onto the um, brake arms and they give you these extra long security bolts to go with it so you don't have to worry about if your fender will fit or not with that on so if, you're, if you're just doing this for winter um, these look fine, so I will, sorry, and these do move when you work the brake, so you have to just um, adjust this piece here, there's a bolt that you've connected it with under there, 
again they don't send you a bolt that fits that a, a hex key that fits that so you have to have one yourself so, so you don't have to take this whole thing off to tighten and adjust um, this distance from your ring and that is it so it's all installed and I will hopefully early in the morning um, get up and give it a twirl, a whirl and get some And we'll see the back lights light up. And then we I think I have these on two different modes at the moment, so I'm gonna have to set them on uh I don't know, some are still on the same mode, that's some might have to set them. Just have one on to set it to correct blinking sequence. Take that off, set the other one on. I won't get too much out of the front ones. Especially if you're an early morning or late evening rider, you still take with you your old light um, in your jersey pocket. Because remember, if you get a flat or anything, these lights only work on the bike when it's in motion. Um, so, as soon as you're trying to change a flat in the dark somewhere, or you want to make an adjustment to something in the dark somewhere, you're sort of used to just taking your light off holding it like in your mouth or whatever and working with your hands to do whatever you can do but with these you won't have that luxury because they only last for um, I think a few minutes or so after a stop uh, so you're going to want to have a a battery sorry a, a, flash, a battery flashlight on hand uh, if you run into any technical difficulties um, so that's it on the old uh, Domani 5.9. We'll see how it works tomorrow.